Hey, so my name is uh, Barry Campbell. I'm a geriatric psychiatrist, and uh, today I have the opportunity to present at the Care for You conference. And uh, it was quite exciting and also telling, I think, in terms of the uh, impact that dementia is having upon uh, our community and our population here in Canada, in that there's 350 people who took the time today on a beautiful fall Saturday day to come and learn more about dementia. And uh, I guess the opportunity for you here on our website is to be able to hear a little bit about what we talked about today and inform yourself more about dementia. So dementia is a condition where the brain loses the ability to think, plan, strategize, and as a result of that, there's a loss of function, an inability to do the things that uh, are important in life, like maybe drive a motor vehicle, plan your finances, um, work in an occupation. Uh, and dementia is a complicated illness in that it involves many losses of ability to think. So it's not just memory loss. Uh, there's losses of uh, abilities to plan and strategize. Uh, anticipate. Uh, these things are called executive function. Uh, one of the executive functions that's most disabling in people with dementia is the development of a thing called anosognosia. Uh, anosognosia is a mouthful for saying that you lack the ability to understand uh, that you have a problem. And uh, it isn't a big leap to jump from that to understand how that can sometimes lead to behavioral problems or uh, symptoms of distress because if you have a problem with something like memory and you don't realize that you have a problem uh, you can't make accommodations for it and when other people try to assist you uh, that sometimes makes you annoyed and uh, angry at them. There are many causes of dementia. Uh, dementia can be caused by circulatory problems uh, it can be caused by something like Alzheimer's disease or quite commonly it can be caused by a combination of the two. Um, anytime two things are common, uh, Alzheimer's disease is common, uh, circulatory problems are common, uh, the two sometimes occur together. And so people often sometimes ask what they can do to prevent dementia and uh, we know that dementia is a long time coming. By the time the person first has symptoms it's likely been brewing for many years. And so things that you can do to prevent dementia are to keep mentally active, uh, do new things. Uh, if you particularly want to challenge yourself, learn a new language, uh, do some novel things that stretches your mind and um, builds new connections between your neurons. Uh, become physically active. Uh, you can never uh, exercise too much and we know that exercise uh, protects the body in a variety of different ways. Uh, building bone strength, building muscle strength, but it also helps to build uh, brain strength. Um, don't smoke. Uh, if you don't, if you've never smoked, don't start. And if you do smoke, stop smoking. Uh, do what you can to not develop diabetes. Uh, exercise and weight loss would be things that would be helpful uh, in that regard. There's some evidence that uh, drinking alcohol in moderation is of uh, benefit uh, in diminishing future risk for cognitive loss and one of the challenges there is to know uh, exactly what moderation is because as we look at the uh, literature there's a variety of definitions as to how many drinks make up moderation and uh, the definition in uh, France and Russia might be the different than the uh, definition in Japan and so it becomes difficult to compare uh, different places in the world in that regard. Uh, make sure that you know what your uh, blood cholesterol level is, and if it's too high, make sure that you lower it. Um, if your blood pressure is too high, you should make sure that your blood pressure is uh, effectively treated. And everybody should know what their blood pressure is and know what their cholesterol levels are so that you can be an advocate for your own um, health care. And so in closing, that would be one of the things I would say that's important and uh, vital for all of us to do is be advocates for ourselves and be advocates for the, the people around us and um, by people having come to this conference today and by you looking at our uh, videos on the internet uh, you're building your ability to be an advocate for yourself and people with dementia.